So a lot of these, a lot of these right triangle kind of word problem questions are gonna try to offer you some information that is gonna lead you to basically somehow develop a right triangle. So this honeysuckle vine, da da da, rectangular section. That's the first piece. That's a really the only thing that you need to take from this is this rectangular section. And any rectangle has or is a rectangle because it is made up of four right angles. Okay. Now it says, okay, for extra support, it attaches the wire from the bottom left corner. And then he runs the wire to the top right corner. And right away we've seen, we've, we've come up with a, a right triangle here. Now length is usually the longer side of a, of a rectangle. So we'll say this is 175, and we're going to say the height is 145. Okay? Now this is my A squared plus B squared. This is my 175 squared plus 145 squared is equal to this C squared here. But again, I've been, I have been showing you on this calculator that, you know, Really what's going to happen is you're, you could just take the square root of both sides and to find that answer you could just put in your calculator second the square root function and then 175 squared plus 145 squared and that'll, that'll give you your answer at 227. That's saying that this diagonal here, this diagonal here is 227. It becomes a lot faster once you start using a calculator. Now in some, some questions, especially when we're dealing with um, SAT questions, a big tactic is to add, add a line. So in some questions, like you can't even answer this question without even adding a line to it. So what I'm going to do is, and because I see that they give me 156, I, what I'm going to do is add a line to somehow create a right triangle for myself. Okay, and that's what, that's what I did there. Okay, I was able to create a right triangle right here. Now I need, I need some information to fill out this right triangle. Well, I know that this is 187, this side here. And I know this side here is 156. So one thing I could do is find the difference. And I could do uh, 187 minus 156. And I could get a side. So I'm going to take this triangle out here just so you guys can see it. I can get a side of 31. And then in any, basically what I've done here is I've, I've made a square, because it's 156, 156. So a square is all equal sides. So I could say this bottom side is also 156. And then I look to my calculator and I say, OK, let me use my, when I'm solving for two legs, I'm adding. So second square root of my 156 squared plus the 31 squared and I'm getting a 159 for that. Now what that does is it gives me it gives me a leg of this right triangle here. 156 or well, I'm sorry, 159. Now, um, let me pull this triangle out as well, which is a 159 and a 174. Now here I'm solving for hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle. Here I'm solving for one of the legs, one of the sides that might makes up the right triangle. So this is a little different. This, what, it was, it, what ends up happening when you do this, because you're doing 159 squared plus x squared is equal to 174 squared, really what you're doing is you're subtracting the 159 squared from both sides, and then you get x squared is equal to 174 squared minus 159 squared. So you end up just basically taking the square root of that. So I can do second square root 174 squared minus the 159 squared, and I get a 70, which would make the result of this side here 70. 70.67, 70 if they asked us to round, we would probably say 71 there. We would round up. But can't solve this question without adding a line to the diagram. And that basically what ends up happening is you solve for two different separate right triangles, one for a hypotenuse and then one for a leg. Calculator makes this easy. Uh, here's another one. Add a line to a diagram. So same thing. I see I have 
an opportunity here to make to make a right triangle one two three right triangles now in this question they're talking about a loop so basically what's happening originally the person went around all let's say one two three four five sides that's what this question is and the crew will clear a trail between point B and G to create some sort of shortcut. So now you can actually take this hike this direction here. So, and they want to know how much shorter will the new loop. Well, one thing I could do to find out how much shorter is find out how much this is and then take away or, or find the difference. Basically, I took away this side and this side and, and however shorter I made it, I made it shorter by these two sides. So. I look at these triangles, I say, okay, these are two legs I'm solving for hypotenuse. So this is, this is an add on my calculator. Oop, that should have been seven squared plus a 13.5 squared. And this gives me a 15, a 15.2 a 15 here. Here, right now, let me just take this triangle out from here, okay? And let me look at this triangle here, which gives me a leg and a hypotenuse. So, really, what I'm doing to solve for this is I'm doing a hypotenuse to the leg, so it's a subtraction here. So, I go 15.2. Now, this is important when you subtract, when you subtract, right? When you guys subtract. Um, you need to make sure that you're subtracting from your hypotenuse. So then you get a 14.2 here, right? If I, if I led with my leg on the calculator, I would get some sort of error result because you can't have, you can't have the square root of a negative. Now what that does is it gets this final triangle here, which was 7.0 and X it gives me the hypotenuse 14.2 of that. That's what I found right here. I found the hypotenuse of that. Right here, 14.2, right? So now this is another hypotenuse in a leg. So that's another, now make sure, again, I'm leading with my, I'm leading with my hypotenuse. I'm subtracting my leg from my hypotenuse. and hit this x to the negative one button. 12.3. Now what ends up happening in this question is like, okay, this length here is 12.3 and this here was seven. So if I'm going this direction now, I'm cutting out, I'm cutting out this distance of seven and 12.3. So if I'm cutting that out, my new, my new trail or new distance is going to be 19.3 shorter. That's the idea of the question. Using these sides to build, solve for hypotenuse, solve for a leg, solve for a leg, and I get a, a uh, distance which is 19.3 shorter. Uh, this is a very typical question here. Simple though, you gotta use the directions and they give that to you. She's paddling 33 meters due east. So that's this direction. Right away I know it's giving me one of my legs and my right triangles. Then she tries to paddle south. But it, then it says, okay, it pushes her southwest a distance of 41 meters. So she went from here, southwest, southwest is that direction. When you say southwest, you're combining south and west, and you're going this direction of 41. And if I'm looking at this triangle here, I recognize, okay, they're giving me a hypotenuse, and a leg. So I can do second hypotenuse minus the leg and it's giving me a 24.3 here for my, basically they ask how far south is the starting point. So this is south. 
How far, what is this distance? That would have been 24.3. Uh, this bridge question looks complicated. It's really not. They're telling you AD is 54. They're telling you that this is 73. And they're asking, um, what is the length of BD? Now it tells you, it tells you that BD and AG are the same. Okay, and it tells you that AD is twice as long as GE. So basically, whatever we get for this hypotenuse, whatever we get for this hypotenuse, using the 54 and the 73, because it's twice as long, BD is just going to be half of that. BD will be, let's say, uh, BD will be equal half of AF. So I'll find my I'll find my fifty four squared plus seventy three squared and get ninety point eight. I could divide that by two and get a forty five point four roughly for this distance of, of BD here. Another way is to maybe take a right triangle and say 54 divided by 2 is 27, and 73 divided by 2 is 36.5, and solve for, the, solve for the hypotenuse that way, basically taking half of the 74 and the 73 and the 54, but you'll get the same answer here. Uh, this is another one where they tell you one boat is sailing due north, 37 directions important here and then the other boat sailed due east east is this direction then they tell you this is a very common one where they say they were 55 kilometers apart so one guy went this way this is where their their boat is and the other guy went this way this is where their boat is and they're saying at this distance they were 55 apart so the understanding of this question is that, okay, one went one direction, one went another to create a right triangle, and then their distance apart was a hypotenuse. So that's a second, take the hypotenuse, and then subtract, and you get a 40 for 40.7 or 41 for basically how far did the second, so how, they want to know how far did the second boat travel, and that's your answer here about that.